Hi Pisces, this is your weekly love reading. Now I did try and do your weekly love reading and it's now existing in a weird corona bonus because the whole spread just went, whoa, <laughs> I don't know what happened. So we're going to try and channel some actual love messages for those of you that are interested in love um, because it didn't came through as something totally different but was obviously required because I couldn't argue with what was happening. Like it was just bizarre. So go check it out. You'll be able to find it. It's just in the usual spots. All right, let's try and do some love messages. These will be from the 23rd to the 27th of March. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, these are general love readings, so they're not going to resonate with every single person every single week. If it's not resonating with you this week, that's okay. Hit the notification button if you haven't already, and then go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on YouTube. All right, let's get started. Love messages, please. Let's try for some love messages for the Pisces Collective. That would be great. Thank you. <laughs> Pisces Collective love messages. Two of Wands, okay, you've got some choices to make, decisions, pathways to choose. Four of Wands, okay, interesting graduation. So Four of Wands in reverse though. So you may be making some decisions about a failed relationship or a relationship that is definitely on the rocks, the King of Cups in reverse. It could be that you or the other person is feeling kind of emotionally unavailable um they're a little bit emotionally unstable emotionally immature uh, and there's definitely some regret attached to this i think this is you guys regretting this okay yes it is all right pisces for them for a lot of you it's you guys that are kind of making some choices because You've actually realized that you enjoy your freedom. Um, you enjoy going out, having fun, um, you know, not really being tied to one person. Um, now, this could be, these energies can be reversed. They are general readings, so they're not specifics. Um, but you need to make a choice. So this is definitely you showing up in the two. Um whether or not this is your person, I actually think for a lot of you it's you. But either way, it doesn't matter. Like one of you in the relationship is not happy because you want your freedom, basically. Um, could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. What's a four of wands here in reverse? I'm kind of just glad we don't have a coronavirus situation okay so it was once upon a time something that had a very deep love you may have even been married but there is a big decision now and this decision is going this like it's a decision on whether you progress or separate pretty much if you haven't already um there is this no it's just the it's just the intensity i think and the swords yeah it's heartbreaking it's truly heartbreaking having to make this decision it's not something that either of you want to do um but it's almost like it has to happen what's the king of cups please in reverse who is the king of cups thank you there you go the king of cups who is the emotionally unstable emotionally unavailable person probably the person that wants their freedom they don't want to offer a cup anymore. Um, again, Pisces, this could be you. It could be another Pisces Cancer Scorpio as well, possibly. Um, but they don't feel like there's any love opportunity here. They, in fact, they, they want to tip out the contents of the cup at the moment. That's just not how they feel. There's a lot of regret here with the Eight of Swords in reverse. What's the Eight of Swords in reverse, please? What are we regretting here? What's the regret? Okay, so I think they feel like they, or you, whichever, feels like they got into this relationship too soon or they got married too soon. They, the commitment, it was too much commitment, basically. 
Um, and this is why they want to break free. You've got the Hierophant here. So it's the regretting getting into that, getting locked down into a commitment. Um, that it may have been like it was too soon. It was very quick. And now it's like, yeah, backpedal. So it might have gotten serious very quickly. Um, and it's just not what they want or not what you want. All right, thoughts and feelings for Pisces. Prince of Cups. Again, Pisces, I know that there's going to be a stack of people to go, no, you've got this reversed, but I am really picking up. This is you this time, and it's very unusual for that to be happening. Mostly because, like, Pisces always want people. Um, so for them to want to be on their own, I don't know. That I feel like that's unusual. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know you guys will anyway. Um, but Prince of Cups in reverse. So you're not wanting to offer anything to this anymore. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So it may be that you're not wanting to offer anything to this anymore because your your heart's already broken. Um, so it's like almost like you're trying to protect yourself now. Um, and that could be why you're making the decision as well. If this is how this other person feels, they may not be coming forward to make a decision. They may be forcing you to make the decision, which is kind of a bit of a cowardly way out, quite frankly. Thoughts and feelings on the other person. Pisces, other person, please. Oh, too many. Pisces, other person. Thoughts and feelings. Temperance. They're trying to restore balance. They do not feel balance here. Um, there may be a Sagittarius. They may be Sagittarius. Ah, no. Okay. They are going through a lot of inner introspection, reflection. Um, they're trying to understand themselves better um, internally with the Hermit and Temperance. Could be a Virgo. But ultimately, they're going within to try and they don't really understand why their feelings have changed. Um, and that's why they're trying to just shine a light and understand, well, why am I so imbalanced? How has this happened? Um, so it is bothering them as well. I think you must might think that they don't care, but they do. That's certainly what's on their thoughts and feelings. Most likely outcome here, please. Ten of Cups in reverse. So um, you may be looking at divorce, separation, judgment, divorce again. Um, it does look like a judgment is coming on to this Ten of Cups in reverse. So there may be some decisions to make around the home. Um, they may be decisions that are forced upon you by a third party. Ace of Wands in reverse. But ultimately, Pisces, it's kind of looking like... And Prince of Swords. Okay, well, that's interesting. So I feel like just when you think everything is lost, along comes the Prince of Swords out of nowhere. Um, this is a hard time, though. This is a hard time. It's like saying this is going to be hard. It's going to be tough. There's going to be judgments that you have to make about your home, your family, um, if there's children involved, all that sort of stuff. But ultimately, they're decisions, and I think they'll be decisions that are mostly taken out of your hands. There is the this Ace of Wands. There is no um, chemistry or physical attraction going on anymore. There's no, there's just isn't that spark there anymore. Um, but. It's all is not lost because in is coming this person that is going to sweep you off your feet out of nowhere. And they almost come in like, shoom, I'm coming in just when you've given up hope. Um, so I think that that is a good positive thing in the future. It's not in the immediate future, but it is in the future. Um, unless you went through this already some time ago, in which case it's saying, hey, you're ready for this. Um, I'm going to do... Uh, Advice, please, for Pisces Collective. Advice for Pisces Collective on this.
So, there's definitely an element of, so you've got the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Cups in reverse, and the Five of um, Pentacles in reverse. So, there is an element of, there's a lot of you out there that want to save this to some degree. And you may be able to defend your position and, and restore some level of passion to the connection. Yes, absolutely. But ultimately, that is going to long-term leave you unfulfilled, um, even if you are not, you know, separated from each other or, you know, um, isolated from each other. So it's like you can, you can have this and you will remain together, but you'll be very unfulfilled. It won't ever be what, what it was is what this is saying. So, yes, you can change the outcome because I think a lot of you are sitting there going, no, that's not what I want and I'm going to change my outcome. You can change the outcome, but with that comes a cost and the cost is this nine of cups in reverse is going to leave you quite unfulfilled. Yes, you won't be in the cold anymore, but what's the trade-off? It's up to you guys. Okay, so it is up to you. Um, it's always up to you. These are these are signposts. That's all. Okay, you guys dictate which ones you take. Whether you go right, left, straight, roundabout, it's up to you. Um, but this is just like a roadmap of what might happen. Okay, all right. Let's go with romance angels, please, for Pisces. I'm suddenly very tired, Pisces. So let me bear with me while I get through. The end of this i don't know what's happened to my energy but it's just been energy vampired there we go pisces i'm really sorry but it kind of is consistent with the messaging here um it's consistent in the advice release your ex the time has come to clear your energy there is someone actually better for you coming in like i don't know you can't feel that right now um, but there really is. All right, we're also asking angel answers out of the book. What is the most useful answer for Pisces at this time, please? What's the most useful answer for Pisces at this time, please? Oh, we've got two. Oh, this is nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sheesh. It's up to you and peaceful resolution. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess that that's re relevant. Let's go see what this is. So it's up to you. The end result of the situation you asked about is entirely in your hands. I'm pretty sure I just said that like two minutes ago. You can affect the outcome by taking a proactive approach to solving any challenges. Stand in your own power and have confidence that you have what it takes to bring about a happy ending. Don't wait for someone else to rush in and take charge. In order to come to a successful conclusion, the situation requires your unique perspective and experience. Yes, that is true. But there, are, there will be costs, okay? So you need to be aware of that. If you do want to change the outcome it is up to you and spirit is confirming exactly what i said it's up to you those options are available to you on this table okay peaceful resolution oh i don't know my alphabet clearly okay the challenges you're inquiring about are going to come to an end conflict will cease and soon be replaced with harmony there will be a sense of peace shared by all, even if some only agree to disagree. Disagreements will be resolved in your favour. This includes struggles with employers, legal battles, arbitration, and even strife among family or friends. Be forgiving and understanding with those who may have been in error. Allow peace to come with grace and dignity for everyone. So I think very, very relevant um, particularly the peaceful resolution bit down here where there's going to be some judgments going on. Um, but again, up to you, totally up to you how this one pans out. All right, Pisces, that's what I've got. I am exhausted. Now, we in Australia are being told we are about to go into lockdown where I am. Um, that may mean some extra opportunities to go live or do some extra readings. So I'm keen to understand what you guys are going through at the moment with everything happening in the world. Are you in lockdown? What's happening? 
Um, you know, will you be around for lives? What part of the world are you in? All that sort of stuff so I can get a sense of how we can get the community together um, as best we can. I don't, I don't know what time I will have yet. I will know more tomorrow. Um, but that could be, we could be seeing a whole lot more of each other, which is what I said in the other Pisces one. So that can be a really good thing or a really bad thing. Depends. All right, guys, I will see you uh, or I'll be talking to you at least, at the very least for the weekend reads. Please stay safe. Be kind to one another. Um, help each other out in the comments. And yeah, you guys have the power to wind this up whichever way you like. Talk to you soon. Bye.